Saturday, mid morning, afternoon, evening. So there are some things that we can look forward to this college football season. And one of the things to look forward to is 25 defensive players to watch during the 2023 college football season. So starting us off, Dante Corleone, defensive line, Cincinnati, sophomore. Love the last name. And Corleone is certainly a tough guy when it comes to his play as one of the country's premier defensive tackles. In 2022, Corleone made a name for himself by recording 44 tackles, three sacks, two forced fumbles for the Bearcats. According to Pro Football Focus, Corleone, the third team All-American selection by the Associated Press, graded out as the highest rated defensive player in the nation. Now, take that for what it's worth. But if Cincinnati is going to be able to contain some of the more potent offenses within their new Big 12 home, Corleone has to be at his best. Next up, Tyler Davis, defensive line, Clemson senior. Known as Mini Fridge in comparison to former Clemson great William the Refrigerator Perry. The six foot two, three hundred pound defense Davis has enjoyed plenty of success during his lengthy career at defensive tackle with the Tigers. He's a three-time All-ACC pick, taking home first-team honors in 2021 and 22. During 43 games spanning his previous four college seasons, including 39 starts, Davis has totaled 122 tackles, 26 for loss, and 15 and a half sacks. He's also recorded four pass breakups, and posted four fumble recoveries thus far at Clemson. Jerzon Newton, defensive line, Illinois junior. Even taking last season's 8-5 and five effort into consideration, Illinois has not been associated with winning on a consistent basis. However, the program continues to churn out some solid individual talent. Newton could be headed for a nice NFL payday relatively soon. In 2022, the Illini led the nation, allowing just 12.8 points per contest, and Newton was a big reason, while earning second-team All-American honors from the AP. He recorded career highs of 62 tackles, 14 for loss, 5.5 sacks, and 11 quarterback hurries. Newton also posted 19 quarterback hits and recovered two fumbles last season. Chop Robinson, defensive line, Penn State Jr. There is plenty of local and national hype surrounding Robinson this season. Poised to become one of the best edge rushers in the college game, Robinson is hoping to build on a strong 2022 campaign when he recorded 10 tackles for loss, five and a half sacks, two pass breakups, a forced fumble, and one fumble recovery. The belief, at least among those in and around Robinson's daily routine and familiar with his overall talent, is that he can be even better in 2023. The Nittany Lions are a sexy pick to perhaps surpass Michigan and Ohio State as Big Ten favorites. Next, Junior Tafuna, defensive line, Utah, Junior. At six foot three, 310 pounds, Tafuna is a beast within Utah's interior defensive line. Tafuna set the foundation for his strong 2022 season by starting the final 11 games of 2021 and earning Pac-12 Freshman Defensive Player of the Year honors. In 22, Tafuna recorded 27 tackles, including three and a half for loss, and also recorded a sack while being a second team all Pac-12 selection. Tafuna continues to progress. The signs of greatness appear to be there, and 2023 has the potential to be a breakout for this particular youth. 
Braylon Trice, defensive line, Washington, Jr. Another pass rusher with loads of potential. Trice has progressed nicely during his two seasons playing for the Huskies. After recording two sacks in 2021, Trice led Washington with nine during its impressive 11-2 campaign from 22. He also led the squad with with 12 tackles for loss en route to earning first-team All-Pac-12 honors. Brimming with confidence, Trice enters this season on the Nagurski Trophy watch list and is expected to contend for the National Sack League while Washington eyes a Pac-12 championship. J.T. Tuamalu, I hope I pronounced that right, defensive line, Ohio State Jr. We can go back to Ohio State's comeback 44-31 win at Penn State on October 29th of last season as being TJ's coming out party to the nation. During that contest, he posted a career-high six tackles, three for loss, two sacks, a forced fumble, fumble recovery, and two interceptions, including one return 14 yards for a fourth-quarter touchdown. By season's end, TJ was named a first-team All-Big Eight, All-Big Ten selection for recording 28 tackles, including 10 and a half for loss and three and a half sacks. That all leads to plenty of promise and hype. Entering this season for another Buckeyes squad eyeing a national championship. Jarrett Verse, defensive line, Florida State, Jr. Depending on who is doing the prognosticating, Verse could be the first defensive end taken off the board during the 2024 NFL Draft. After recording 13 and a half sacks, in two seasons at Albany of the FCS, Verse fared pretty well in 2022 at Florida State. Actually, that would be putting it mildly. In his first season with the Seminoles, Verse recorded 48 tackles, 17 for loss, plus nine sacks, three quarterback hurries, one fumble recovery, and he even blocked a field goal to earn first team all ACC honors. So it's understandable why Verse is considered a hot NFL commodity. Makai Wingo, defensive line, LSU junior. A third team All-American by the AP last season. Wingo is the first of two LSU defenders to be showcased on this list. Wingo's career began at Missouri but he refined his abilities at defensive tackle after moving to Baton Rouge for the 2022 season when he recorded 47 tackles and three sacks. In 25 career college games spawning both schools, Wingo has made 16 starts and posted 74 tackles, eight of which have gone for a loss with four sacks. At 6'1", 295 pounds, Wingo is not an imposing figure, but his strength and agility up front can't be denied. Barrett Carter, linebacker, Clemson, Jr. The aforementioned Tyler Davis might be the anchor of the defensive line, but the strength of their defense might be at the linebacker position. When it comes to Carter, Clemson coach Dabo Sweeney said he's one of the best pure football players I've had in 20 years. In his two seasons with the Tigers, Carter has recorded 103 tackles, including 11.5 for loss, plus 5.5 sacks, 9 pass breakups, and 2 interceptions. As we are about to see, Carter makes up half of one of the most dominating linebacker duos in the country. So what I am going to do right here, I will conclude this list. But I'm going to take a break right now. But don't you go nowhere. Stay in the zone with Anthony. There's more to come.
promised. As we continue this list of 25 defensive players to watch in this upcoming 2023 season. That's right. You are in the zone with Anthony. Still hard to believe that the college football season is literally at our doorsteps. So we dive back into this list. Next up on this list is Jamon Dumas Johnson, linebacker, Georgia, junior. And if you notice, a lot of these players are underclassmen by definition of what we would seem underclassmen. They're not, they're juniors, so they got experience, but they're not seniors. And I'm pretty sure some of these juniors If they are as good as advertised, they will probably be declaring for the NFL draft after this season. But once again, Jamon Dumas Johnson, linebacker, Georgia, junior. In less than three years, Dumas Johnson has gone from promising linebacker prospect to the leader of perhaps the nation's best defense. While helping the Bulldogs repeat as national champions in 2022, Dumas Johnson earned second-team All-American honors from the AP after he finished second on the team with 70 tackles, including nine for loss. He also recorded four sacks and 26 quarterback hurries. Dumas Johnson enters the 2023 season on the watch list for the Nagurski Trophy and Butkus Award. Tommy Eichenberg, linebacker, Ohio State. Here's a senior. There are several college football analysts and pundits who believe Eichenberg is the best linebacker in the country. There aren't many who would disagree with that type of thinking. Just look at the stats. Eichenberg has compiled 186 tackles, including 18 and a half for loss, spawning 31 career games. He posted 120 of those tackles in 2022 when he earned second-team All-American honors from the Associated Press. While it might be hard to surpass those numbers in 2023, Eichenberg is still capable of putting together a special campaign. Harold Perkins Jr., linebacker, LSU, sophomore. Here's your underclassman. Not many freshmen on either side of the ball in 2023 had a better season than Perkins. He played in all 14 games for the Tigers, including eight starts and recorded 72 tackles. Of those stops, Perkins posted a team lead 13 for loss and an impressive seven and a half sacks. Talk about making a great first impression. That was all good enough to earn first team all SEC honors by the AP and certainly opens the door for a potentially massive sophomore season in 2023 while helping LSU seriously contend for a national championship. Jeremiah Trotter, Jr., linebacker, Clemson, Jr. The other half of Clemson's dynamic linebacking duo with Barrett Carter, Trotter enters this season having received second team All-American honors from the AP after he led the Tigers in tackles, 92 tackles for loss, 13 and a half, and tied for the team lead in sacks, six and a half in 2022. In his two seasons at Clemson, Charter has recorded 114 tackles, with 14 and a half of those stops going for loss. In addition, Charter has posted seven and a half sacks, seven pass breakups, a forced fumble, and an interception during his time with the Tigers. And let me just say this too, in regards to that Clemson defense, They definitely had a chip on their shoulder last year. When you stop and think about it, their defensive coordinator for many years, Brent Venables, went back to Oklahoma. Well, there was a post that showed that Brent Venables' defense ranked this high in the country, led the country with this many sacks, this many tackles for losses. Well, the Clemson defense or the media guy posted those same numbers and said Clemson's defense. So there was a little chippiness, a little edge on, and they wanted to prove that 
the defense wasn't all about the coordinator, but it was about the guys on the field. Moving right along, Dallas Turner, linebacker, Alabama junior. Someone needs to carry the torch in the wake of Will Anderson's departure, and Turner seems like the obvious choice. Is Turner the next great hybrid linebacker edge rusher to come out of the Crimson Tide program? Plenty signs point to yes. While Turner's sack numbers dropped in 2022, four from 2021, eight and a half, he's still expected to be one of the most counted on defenders to Alabama's calls this season. He's posted 18 tackles for loss in two seasons and shouldn't be playing in anybody's shallow going forward. Cooper DeJohn, cornerback, Iowa, Jr., the Hawkeyes still might have their issues scoring the football in 2023, but we expect their defense will remain stout. And Dijon should be leading the pack. Talk about having a knack for the big play. Dijon recorded five interceptions in 2022 and set a single season school record by returning of those for touchdowns, which also tied Iowa's all time mark for interceptions returned for scores. He also posted eight passes defended. In addition to his ability to track down the football, Dijon ranked third on the team with 75 tackles, including 56 solos. Kalen King, cornerback, Penn State Jr. Looking to build on a breakout season from 2022, King is another extremely talented defensive back coming out of the Big Ten. As a sophomore, King recorded his first three career interceptions and posted a highly impressive 18 passes defended. In addition, King registered 30 tackles. He earned second-team All-Big Ten honors while playing in 13 games with nine starts. Now, he should be considered the leader or at least a major focal point of the Nittany Lions secondary for the 2023 campaign. This next name, you gotta love it. You gotta love it. Gotta love this name. Kool Aid McKinstry, cornerback, Alabama Junior. The name alone is worthy of all American status. On the field, though, McKinstry earned 13 All American honors from the AP in 2022 and just might be the nation's top cornerback entering this campaign. Though McKinstry recorded just one interception last season, he led the Crimson Tide with 15 pass deflections. If that wasn't enough, McKinstry proved to be one of the country's top return men, averaging 15.86 yards per punt return. Good enough to rank second nationally. He just might be Alabama's most exciting player at the moment, which is obviously saying a lot. Benjamin Morris, cornerback, Notre Dame, sophomore. Much of the focus surrounding Notre Dame entering the 2023 season is on the offensive side of the ball. However, the Irish have a good one in Morrison who made quite the impression as a freshman in 2022. Morrison went from a promising prospect to a starter by the end of his first college season. His six interceptions tied for second in the nation last season, with two coming in a win over Clemson and three more against Boston College. Morrison also recorded 33 total tackles and one for a loss while making a name for himself around the country. So what I'm going to do, there are five more names on this list to give you. And what I'm going to do right now here is I am going to take a break. And when I come back, I'm going to give you the remaining five names on that list on In The Zone with Anthony. So don't you go anywhere. Come right back.
welcome back to In The Zone as I conclude this list of the 25 defensive players to watch for this 2023 college football season. And it's so lovely to be able to do a podcast and you get to sit outside and enjoy the nice fresh air. Of course, you may hear motor vehicles rolling by, but that's just part of the fun of being able to do a podcast at the drop of a dime, wherever. So now we look at the last five names on this list of 25 defensive players to watch. Josh Newton, cornerback, TCU senior. By the end of the most special season in TCU history, there were plenty of names to remember. Newton was certainly one of them. After coming over from Louisiana Monroe, the set the step up in competition didn't seem to phase Newton, who picked off three passes, one of which he returned for a touchdown against Iowa State on November 26, and ranked second on the team with 12 passes defended. Newton also made 35 tackles, including two and a half for loss while helping the Horn Frogs make it all the way to the national championship game. Cole Bishop, safety, Utah Junior. There was plenty of talent on the 2022 Utes defense, which was a big reason they won a second consecutive Pac-12 title. Leading the way was hard-hitting Bishop, who in his second full collegiate season posted a team-best 83 tackles in 22. Of those stops, Bishop recorded six for loss and even picked up one and a half sacks. Bishop also picked off a pass and defended four passes. In his two seasons, Bishop has made 19 starts over 24 games and is someone to keep an eye on while flying under the radar at the moment. Javon Bullard, safety, Georgia, Jr. Bullard is actually a player without a position designation. Like pretty much all members of the Georgia secondary who are listed as defensive backs, Bullard entered Georgia as a cornerback prospect, then served as a hybrid of nickelback, slot corner, weak side linebacker. For last season, he spent a good chunk of time while recording 46 tackles, three and a half tackles for loss, and two interceptions. This season, though, it appears Bullard could be playing in a more traditional safety role following the departure of Chris Smith. Kalen Bullock, safety, USC, Jr. When it comes to all-around secondary talent, the conversation could easily start with Bullock. In 25 games, spawning two seasons for the Trojans, Bullock has already posted seven interceptions, eight pass breakups, and continues to prove his worth as a big-time player. Five of those picks came in 2022, with one being returned for a touchdown. Bullock also ranked fifth on the team last season with 47 tackles en route to be named a first-team All-Pac-12 performer by the Associated Press. Cameron Kitchens, safety, Miami, Florida, Jr. Among the national leaders with six interceptions in 2022, Kitchens is a first-team All-America as noted by the Associated Press. In addition to his superb ball hawking skills, Kitchens also led the Hurricanes with 59 tackles last season. He was one of the few bright spots on a dismal 5 and 7 Miami squad from a year ago, and the best aspect of a defense that collectively allowed 40 or more points on five occasions. If Kitchens can continue to play at his caliber and he gets help, the Hurricanes defense should improve enough to produce a winning season in 23. And rounding it out, Malachi Stark. Safety, Georgia, red shirt freshman. With the aforementioned Javon Bullard reportedly moving to a safety and taking into consideration the success Starks enjoyed as a true freshman in twenty two in twenty twenty two, the Bulldogs appear to have the best duo at the position in the country. Back to Starks, who has the potential to be a stud after he ranked among Georgia's leaders with sixty eight tackles, seven pass breakups, and also picked off two passes. It should be fun to see how that experience and the element of maturity will further benefit starts in 2023. And those are 25 defensive players to watch in this upcoming 2023 football season. Well, I tell you what, that is going to do it for me in the zone. 
Hope you have enjoyed this edition of In The Zone. And it's hard to believe not only is football season right around the corner, but I'm also coming up on episode 100 as fast as the football season is. I don't know what I have outlined for that 100th episode, but it will be something as special as this 2023 college football season should shape up to be. But until the next time, always stay locked in the zone. This is your boy Anthony saying I'm out. You take care. <laughs>